Hello and welcome to my video tutorial series RPG in a Box. I am Karsten and in this episode I would like to show you how to create tiles for our first map. So we have to create a new resource. Click new resource and select the type tile. Our world will consist of several cubes with 16 times 16 times 16 voxel. So choose the size and we build our first tile as a flat surface and call it sand. Then hit enter or press OK button. The prompt will ask you if your tile should be passable or impassable. If you choose passable, your field will be equipped by default with navigation paths. If you choose impassable, your field by default is impassable, so your character cannot walk onto the tile or over the tile. For walls and rivers and trees as an example. So a flat surface of sand is passable, so we choose passable. We are in the voxel editor again. So we want to create a sand tile. So we choose yellow and build a surface of one voxel high at the ground. And that's the structure of our sand tile. Now we can use this on the map, but I want to add more diversity. So I take my hex code and add this color to my color palette. And additionally, I want to add a more darker yellow. So I input the hex code and choose a little bit darker, a little bit darker yellow from the color field. And additional with the same hex code, a little bit brighter. So now with my new colors, I can add my diversity with a few voxel around the surface. So I choose the voxel mode and add randomly single dots on my surface with the darker yellow and with the brighter yellow too. So it's not just so boring if I look at the map. So this is okay. So I want to keep it simple and don't spend too much time in making this tile for the map. Don't forget to save. And now we can preview our model by pressing the preview mode. With right mouse button, you can rotate the model and can look at it from different angles. And additionally, we have the opportunity to choose the mesh mode. So we can use by mesh, Instead of the classic mode, we can use the marching cube mode. This would shade the, the edges of our tile so it's more round. If we change the mode, we have to save again. And then we can use the period mode and see the difference. So we have more round edges. You can not just use the marching cube mode for your complete model. You also can define several voxels as groups and can add the marching cube shader to this group. So if you want to do that, go back to the classic mode, then use the select voxel tool, select a few voxels and add that to a new group by using the group button. Press add and give it a name. So I use the German word middle. I can choose middle and now I can use the marching cube as override for my new group. And in the preview mode, I see that just my group is shaded with the new shader that brings a more tilish um, look to my map if I used it. So I have, uh, it looks like a grid at the map. If you enjoyed this episode, give me thumbs up, stay tuned. And I would be very excited about the subscription. See you in the next episode. Bye.